Hello Vray users, Alex here, your Vray guide and today's hot topic is going to be about IES lights in Vray of course with the help of Dreamax. As you all know, IES lights is those really cool lights with cool shapes and they can bridge, bring a huge impact into your scene illumination. So let me show you some cool links, where to get them, how to view them and um, of course how to use them in 3D Max. So uh, this uh, link I didn't show you, called Lutonia, it's even better than Echo. Uh, website that I showed you last time. If you go into litonia.com you can find here a link that says photometrics and if you go here you got a huge library of free photometric lights for download. So if you just press this uh, all photometric data files you can download the whole folder in one piece. So uh, after we got those lights we need to view them and in order to view them correctly we need to uh, download and install photometric viewer so uh, if you just go to photometricviewer.com um, you're gonna reach this uh, nice website and as we see here already in the pre preview uh, we can view those lights so uh, click download and uh, go to the download page click the download button and save this file to your computer install it and you'll have this cool program for viewing this those lights so I'm here in the LL library we downloaded a few seconds ago and if I just go here into emergency lights for example I can see the numeric uh, exposure of those lights and if I click the render button, I get the preview of this particular light. Uh, in this view, uh, as you see here, I can play with the uh, brightness, this is basically the intensity that we've got in 3D Max, uh, the distance, how far it is from, uh, from the wall, for example, and uh, the zoom is basically, if you scale your light, this is basically what you're going to get. Um, okay, so we've got our lights, we've got our viewer. Let's go check it out how to apply this into 3D Max. S um, the first thing that you want to do is uh, you want to create a light. Uh, I'm using a free light. You can also use a target light. It just will be much easier to point the direction of this light. And uh, with the point light you just basically got this target and you can direct the light in the in some direction and it will be much easier to control it so uh, I've created this light make sure it's in the middle and it comes from uh, from your spot or uh, other element just make sure it's near to your uh, light source uh, to your uh, object that produces light and uh, after we create it, we just go into those parameters. As you see here, there's a bunch of uh, uh, options. We can choose um, intensity and um, we can choose uh, which type of shadows. We're going to use, of course, Fury shadows. And this, in light distribution, we need to select photometric web. Photometric web allows us, brings us this uh, nice panel distribution photometric web. If you click here to choose the light, um, where we got this, got it here. You can select the light and it will be automatically applied to your photometric light. So basically, uh, here you can uh, rotate it here you got all different types of uh, light distribution um, you can increase the illumination with the percentage I'm just gonna leave it as a, as a default for a test view and of course you can add some cool color in uh, order 
to uh, make it a bit interesting um, for, for our uh, 3D uh, render. So um, this is basically it. This is how you add, how you find, how you view your uh, photometric, your IES lights in 3D Max and you render them with, uh, with the help of v of course. Um, if you didn't succeed in it, and uh, or if you want to have this scene, you are uh, all welcome to subscribe and download it for free, of course, from my blog. And um, if you got any questions, you are all very welcome to uh, ask me um, anything you like, uh, or just post a comment on my blog, and um, or just stop to say hi. Um, this was basically it. This was Alex your very guide uh, subscribe to my blog check out my free videos on there and uh, always remember if you want to do it right do it like a pro i see you next time bye